Carolina Mall really got screwed this time around. Why do I say that? Because I'm so sick and tired of seeing the exact same thing done by Hull Property Group that I don't even care enough to talk about this place. See ya! <sighs> okay, fine. I'll at least give some background on this place. The mall can be traced back to 1968 when it was first being built, though it wouldn't officially open until 1972. Built by a company known as North Hills Inc., it would feature Sears and Belk as original anchors and would receive JC Penney in 1987. JC Penney would wind up abandoning its old locations in downtown Concord and Kannapolis. The mall would receive a renovation in 1998, which would update the mall's image and bring about new stores, a brand new Sears pad, and updates to the Belk pad, and even expansion for JCPenney. However, in 1999, things would get shaken up when Concord Mills opened its doors for the first time. Although hefty competition to stand up against, Carolina Mall didn't immediately falter, as Concord Mills aimed to bring entertainment options and outlets rather than a traditional mall. April 2002 would bring about Hall Property Group acquiring the mall, but you already knew that, as they've brought about, well, whatever this is we're looking at today. And after that began the slow decline of the mall. Fast forward to January 2021, and Sears would close its doors for the last time after liquidation sales over 2020. And so far, it appears no replacement has been found for that building. Only time will tell what will actually happen to this mall, but it's not looking too good for this place. Neither does the interior. Alright, that's it. That's all you're getting. Can I go now?
And before you even say anything, yes, I am aware of the graveyard on site. <laughs>